How's it going guys, Sharp Belk here and welcome to today's video where we're going to be covering a spawn that I've recently looked into on my Paladin, as somewhere to go for those who are yet to reach that prestigious level 150 that will give out great amounts of profit all the while not being too challenging to hunt either. The spawn I'm talking about today my friends is the Fairest Fire Shrine, which sadly does require you to have completed the Troubled Animals section of the Fret and Dreams questline for you to have access to, though I'll more than likely have a guide for that quest posted here soon so don't worry if you haven't quite gotten it done just yet. <laughs> So, for those of you that do have access, you can get hit by entering any of the fire portals found within the major cities of Tibia. Then after using a ruby on the shrine found inside, you'll be teleported to this location here, which is also a great spot to come back to if you need to step away from the game for a moment during a hunt, as it is a protection zone. Know though, that if you do accidentally click on the shrine, you'll have to use another ruby to get back again, so bear that in mind. And so, with that covered, let's talk about the place itself, shall we? The spawn is home to only two different creatures, which may look quite familiar to some players as they are just weaker versions of their counterparts found in Rochamal, but make no mistake as they can still manage to pack quite a punch so avoid their melee as best you can while keeping yourself away from the Frazzlemore's life drain beam. Though wearing a garlic necklace will negate some of its overall damage, it can still be quite deadly if you find yourself trapped between some of the single tile walkways found along this route, but just be mindful of the area and use the surroundings to your advantage and you should be fine. Annoyingly, the Enfeebled Silences have the ability to lower your magic level and drain your mana. It's not by a huge margin, but it's still something to watch out for nonetheless. Also, for them oh shit moments, you may wish to bring a supply of firewalls and bombs with you, as the Enfeebled Silences don't walk over those. As for their weakness and resistances, both creatures are 5% resistant to physical damage, though with their low health pools, Paladins will still be able to make short work of them regardless, especially since one is 5% weak to holy damage, while the other a whopping 25%. Now, as I've recommended this spawn for paladins over level 120, I chose to limit myself to only using gear found within that level range as a guideline for viewers on what best to wear to protect yourself with when coming here. As I had mentioned earlier, wearing a garlic necklace is an option, though I found I wasn't getting much use from them, as not many charges were being expended during each hunt, so I ended up much preferring to use a foxtail amulet instead. But the choice is yours really, so play around and find what works for you best. Though in terms of how many supplies you should be looking to bring for an hour's hunt here, I would say around 300 strong manners and roughly 1000 crystalline arrows will do you fine. Moving on to the loot now, which to put simply is a gold mine for players looking to make fat stacks of plats all the while chipping away towards their next level. The Enfeebled Silences drop a generous amount of Silencer Claws which will go for a high price on the market as it's an imbument item needed for Mana Leech. And the Frazzle Mores will often hit you with the big money drops such as Nightmare Blades and Sires, but we'll talk more about profits shortly so don't go anywhere. One thing I did notice and found interesting about this spawn when here is that while it's nighttime in game, the spawn's density of creatures and respawn rate will increase, making it a little more dangerous to hunt than before as running into backspawn becomes more likely so be careful. Though, to my knowledge, the day-night cycles work like this in real time if you want to take this into account when choosing what time to come here. If, however, you do plan on hunting here for a full hour, I guess it doesn't matter much as you'll be getting both versions of the spawn anyway, though all things considered I thought I'd still fill you in on this little spawn mechanic I'd found nonetheless. And finally, let's talk numbers. After hunting at this spawn a few times, I would manage to make on average 700k EXP an hour here with green stamina, but who cares about that right? I said this place is great for profit earlier, didn't I? So let's talk about the money. So again, after tallying up the free half an hour hunts that I did here, it would appear that I would loot roughly 110k a time, which is not bad at all really for just 30 minute little hunts here and there. But then as I'd said earlier about the night time boasting more creatures for this spawn, I was intrigued to see what would happen if I hunted for a straight 30 minutes at night time here instead, and managed to get this. Now, I don't honestly think the night time had anything to do with the clear loot look I was getting during this session, but it was interesting to see the difference in the amount of kills and loot I would get between the day and night cycles nonetheless, as I'd hunted this place in the exact same way each time I came here, and ended up with a clear increase to EXP an hour during that hunt than when I had come here during the daytime. And so guys, that was Fairest Fire Shrine in a nutshell for you. All in all, I had a great time checking this place out for this video, and I think my bank balance enjoyed it all the more too. If you guys have any suggestions on other spawns you would like to see me cover, be sure to leave them in the comments. Also, if after watching this video you fancy giving the spawn a try for yourselves, please do come back and leave a comment with how things went for you, as I would love to hear about how much you managed to get out of this place. And with that, boys and girls, I'll be back with another video real soon. But until then, take care of yourselves. Bye bye